Well, welcome to Sport Time viewers to the Sheffield Arena. Torville and Dean were here last week, Luciano Pavarotti before that. But now the arena has been handed over to that increasingly popular sport of ice hockey. We've got a knockout competition here featuring six of the country's top teams. In fact, it really is the cream of British ice hockey. The arena opened in 1991 for Sheffield's World Student Games has rapidly become the country's premier venue for ice hockey. Its 10,000 seats have been regularly filled by the supporters of one of the sport's newest teams, the Sheffield Steelers, who have now entered ice hockey's Division 1 and are looking straight away for promotion to the Premier Division. The Steelers are the home side in this invitation tournament, joined by five other teams, all from the Premier Division. The Bracknell Bees quickly found their way from nowhere to Premier Division status. Established in 1987, last season was their first in the top flight, and a hard season it was. The Bees survived, though, and are now looking forward to better performances. The Cardiff Devils are favourites to regain this season the league title which they won in 1991. The sides have been strengthened by the return to Cardiff of the Cooper brothers, Stephen and Ian, acknowledged as two of the sport's best British players. The Billingham Bombers are another highly rated side, and watch out for their pair of imported forwards, Patrice Lefebvre and Richard Laplante, a deadly combination, and their outstanding Canadian defenceman, 27-year-old Andre Mallow. The five Flyers return to the Premier Division after a year out in Division 1. The Flyers' ranks have been plundered by none other than the Sheffield Steelers, who recruited youngster Les Milley and Neil Abel during the close season. And they are, of course, minus Golace import Richard Laplante, now with the Bombers. The Nottingham Panthers were runners-up in last season's league competition and winners of the Autumn Cup, making it the Panthers' best season since 1980. They have Great Britain skipper Chris Kelland on their team at the heart of defence and spearheading the attack, New Yorker Dan Dorian, who joined midway through last season. The Sheffield Steelers get massive support here at the arena, enabling them to attract some sparkling talent. American international Steve McSwain, Great Britain's Scott Neal, the outstanding youngster Les Milley, Paul Dixon from Humberside and Tom Palmer from Air, just some of the close season signings who joined the Steelers' established stars, Steve Nemeth, Ron Shudra and Mark Mackey for an assault on the first division title. The teams have been divided into two groups of three. The Bracknell Bees, the Billingham Bombers and the Cardiff Devils in Group A, the Fife Flyers, the Nottingham Panthers and the Sheffield Steelers in Group B. There'll be six preliminary games in which each team will meet its two opponents in its own group. Then come the playoffs, the third place teams in each group contesting fifth and sixth places, the second place teams fighting for third and fourth places, and the group winners contesting the top spot, and the prize money is £10,000. By far the best game of the tournament's first day was the confrontation between Bracknell Bees and Cardiff Devils. Despite completely dominating the first period, Cardiff only managed to find the net twice through Trent Anderson and Stephen Cooper. Although referee Batchelder's handing out 22 minutes in penalties in the first period and a further 40 minutes in the second, the match was even-tempered and full of skill. The hard work the Devils had put in began to pay dividends within seconds of the start of the second period when Ian Cooper scrambled a puck into the Bracknell net after a defenceman failed to clear. Bracknell hit back with their first goal after 20 minutes while Stephen Cooper was serving the first of his two penalties for roughing. And then the two teams started trading goals. Cardiff's Doug McEwen found the net, then Bracknell's Dave Lambert blocked the shot, picked up the puck on the end of his stick and skated towards the Cardiff net, shrugging off challenges along the way to make the total 4-2. And this despite Bracknell being minus his brother Ross, who was serving out a penalty for charging. Before Ross was back on the ice, however, Cardiff had scored again through Brad Gratton. With both Stephen Cooper and Grattan off the ice, penalised for tripping and hooking respectively, Graham Garden was able to slot in another Bracknell goal, bringing the scoring to 5-3 in Cardiff's favour, a result which really failed to reflect the true superiority. Although Cardiff Devils started the tournament as hot favourites, Billingham Bombers looked to be their equals until the fifth minute, when new signing Trent Anderson shot hit Billingham's netminder Ian Young skate and he drilled the rebound then off the boards into the net. A minute later, Doug McEwen in his fourth season for Cardiff joined Anderson on the score sheet and the well-sized effort was well underway. 
Billingham's fate was sealed with three quarters of the game still to play when former British Young Player of the Year Nicky Chin netted Cardiff's third from a pass by McEwen while his team was a man down with Anderson serving a two-minute slashing penalty. A solo effort from Andre Mallo, who played on in a crucial game for Billingham last season despite having to be given oxygen because of a mouth infection, made the score 3-1 at the end of the first period. But any hopes of a Billingham revival were dashed as Anderson netted his second power play goal of the match and Cardiff's fourth less than two minutes after the restart. With Cardiff captain, Scottish international Paul Heavey off the ice, serving a penalty for interference. New signing Anthony Payne put a first-time shot from a pass by Lefebvre into the Cardiff net for a consolation. But it was the Welsh side that was heading for the final after a four. I love their ice hockey here in Sheffield. There's a terrific atmosphere in the arena with the final about to take place between the Cardiff Devils and the Nottingham Panthers. It should be a terrific tussle. Let's join commentators Paul Ferguson and Richard Bowser. And so we get set to start the first period of this big final between the Cardiff Devils and the Nottingham Panthers. The Panthers playing from left to right get things off with waghorn touching the puck in his own circle waghorn slams on the brakes whistles it to the far side and a chance now as the panthers come out over the blue up to the red the big shot and wood gets the glove down on that backhand picks it up and comes up with the first save of the game face off deep in Cardiff Devil territory. Twelve fifty-nine remaining on the period. Still no score in this one, and the Devils now started out. Coming down on the right side, some good stuff from both teams here in the early stages. That comes all the way back, but not as far as the point. Coming up quickly, the Panthers looking stronger, and Wood goes up. And that was a high shot. Stephen Cooper is going to go to the box for slashing. Back shoulder. Not going to let the team swing the stick. Simon Hunt is in full force coming down the ice. Cooper having a good whack at him. He'll sit for two minutes. Simon Hunt with good legs. A strong young British player trying to get a shot off. Eventually he does. It goes high off Jason Wood. But the penalty had already been indicated by referee back shoulder. Hunt into the face-off circle. Now he decides to move out onto the wing. Getting set for this one is Dorian. Drops all the way back. Curtain back. Cleverly throws it to the far side. Right in front. The shot comes. And that's in the goal. Rhodes was right out front. Power play situation. Two men in the box for Devils. Shannon Hope coming out of the penalty box is not a happy man. He's allowed to come out now that the goal's been scored. There were 10 seconds remaining on his penalty. The puck moved across. Chris Kellen takes a look, directed to the front of the goal. Cardiff unable to get it out of there. Nigel Rhodes has the final say, and Jason Wood is beaten. 1 0, the Panthers get the first goal of the game, and here it is again on a power play situation. The red light comes on back on the offensive now. Thompson reaches for that one as it goes by him. It bounces off the boards. And Kellen is back out on the ice. Waghorn tries to get away from his man. He does. Kellen taps it forward. And a break now for the Panthers. Some good stuff. That comes off the ball. Perkins got a piece of that. Wood put his glove up but couldn't get a, a glove to it. Dorian will feed it all the way back to Curtin back. He throws it up to the far side. The shot comes in. Wood goes down the shore. No goal at the end of the period. The whistle has gone. The Panthers are celebrating, but I'm afraid they were just a split second too late. So the first period ends with the Panthers clinging to that one goal lead over the Devils. Chin goes in with one hand, gets it right in front, and Waghorn is there to steer it away. Chin gets it back too far for Shannon Hope. He can't keep it in, but he hangs on to the puck. That's pushed up onto the left side. A chance now for the Devils. Chin takes the shot. Scores! <laughs> a 
An excellent play from the Devils levels the score here in Sheffield. Cardiff have come out stronger at the start of this second period. They're skating a lot better than they did in the first. A nice pass laid off. Nottingham defensemen leaving their feet. Thompson's got to try and get back, but he can't. Nick Chen puts it by him for the goal. Nottingham committed too much to the left side. Nick Chen is wide open on the right, and he makes no mistake. A giveaway here. Curtain back comes in. Curtain back a chance. Wood comes up with a big save. Well, some sloppy defensive stuff. It's still not whistled down. Another shot comes in. Wood goes down. The loose puck is there. Now, a lot of pushing and shoving in front of that goal. And the Devils still unable to get the puck out. Rhodes is mixing it up along the boards. Cooper is there. Waghorn moves in. And the Chelder again will have to sort this one out. Stephen Cooper and Nigel Rhodes having a good go at each other along the boards. Rhodes without his helmet. Terry Curtin back on a play earlier on his way to the goal. Takes a shot. Wood has a save. Dorian doesn't get a crack at the rebound. It appears that the whistle is going to be blown, but the puck isn't held and play continues. Waghorn drives it back toward the goal. A lot of scrambling around the front of the net. Curtin back was unable to hold it, and that's when things went to the side of the board and it got rough. King, King is brought down by Dorian, and Dorian is breaking down the left wing. Dorian trying to get back in a hurry. Runs out of places to go, picks up the puck, goes for a circle, flips it to the far side. Chris Kellen now. Kellen, a lot of time. He scores! Nottingham go back into the lead. A wrist shot from Chris Kellen has done it. Congratulations coming from Dan Dorian to him. It was Dorian's patience that made that play happen. Dorian with a good check, getting the puck out of his zone. Moves the puck all the way across the ice to Kelland. All the Cardiff Devils, four red shirts caught on the other side of the ice. Chris Kelland makes no mistake with the wrist shot. The puck slid across nicely from Dorian. Cardiff are scrambling. They're out of position. Chris Kelland has got his corner. Hope spins around, takes the shot. Given off to Cooper. He tries to squeeze it through from an awkward angle. And the whistle blows. Oh, and there's a punch. Cooper let it fly. Some big punches coming in here. And these guys will not see much more of this game. Nigel Rhodes showing a little bit of boxing ability. Ian Cooper with the quick temper real quickly turned around and retaliated after the two of them had come together. Rhodes wasn't going to have it. He cut loose the both of them having a good go at each other. is making his way to the showers and here comes Cooper he's going to go in the same direction they're being given five minutes major penalties and that comes back to the top of the circle Hope is calling for it Hope gets it a chance to let the shot go this time he does that's in the net well did Thompson see that one it stayed on the ice and once again we have a tie ball game. Terry Curtin back and Doug McEwen were tied up right in front of Danny Thompson. And when Shannon Hope shot right on the ice went by him, you could see him just wave his arms that he never saw the puck. Great reaction from the card of supporters. They got the music, they got the momentum, and here's how the goal went in. Puck moved across to Shannon Hope. He's got a lot of time, tees it up, keeps it right on the ice. The two players tied up in front, clearly screening Danny Thompson. A loose puck in front, a chance. The shot goes high and wide of the target. Dorian had a golden opportunity to put the Panthers in the lead. McEwen starts up on the left wing slowly. The score! Jason Stone took what, what, what should have been a routine save for Thompson and put it in the back of the net. 
Danny Thompson's had an excellent game, but I'm sure he'd like to have another chance of this shot from Jason Stone. The close call at one end for Dorian going at the Cardiff goal. McEwen pushes the puck out to Jason Stone, who lets a pretty harmless looking shot go right on the ice, but it's enough of a shot to beat Thompson and Cardiff are in the lead. As I said, Richard, fairly routine save for the goaltender, just a, a whack at the puck for Stone. Dorian working with Ashley Tate. That comes over to an open wing. 15 seconds on the clock. The goaltender is out of, out of the net at the other end of the rink. The Panthers have thrown on an extra attacker. Can they get a shot? That goes all the way down, and it's in the net. That was nice. Chin setting up. That goal, some hard work from Bratton, too, made it possible, and that makes it four to two. And now with six seconds on the clock, this must be the Devils game. We said that Bratton hadn't hit the net very much. He got the big shot. This time he didn't need a big shot. He just simply needed to hit the net, and that's exactly what he did. Cardiff have worked hard and fought themselves into this game when it appeared Nottingham. We're going to take it away from him. Bratton this time from behind the center red line which can be dangerous throws it down the ice and it's into the goal for an empty netter and the two goal cushion should be enough for cardiff from the face off it's steered down to waghorn he watches the clock tick down and there goes the buzzer the cardiff devils have won the sheffield invitational tournament an excellent game an excellent tournament we hope you've enjoyed it the final for the Devils for the Panthers too, so the Devils have taken this Sheffield Invitational Tournament. That's the way it ends.